Hello Visaya, this is Herman. Or at least the interpretation of my glow. By using a thermal imaging camera, you're able to see the infrared radiation or thermal radiation I'm emitting. This way you can see my temperature. And you can see this radiation because everything that has a temperature above zero degrees Kelvin glows. I glow at frequencies so high that are not within the visible spectrum. And you need a camera like this one to be able to see this radiation and actually know my temperature. But how did we measure temperature before we had this equipment? How did we know if something was hot or if it was getting hotter or cooler? Expert Japanese sword makers were able to tell the exact temperature of a blade just by looking at the glow of the metal. The same technique was used in glass and pottery production for centuries. The Italians, Galileo and Santori, were the first ones to try to measure the changes in temperature. But it was Daniel Gabriel Fahrenheit, the first one to offer a precision thermometer. First of all, what's a thermometer? A thermometer is composed of two parts, a sensor and a scale. The Fahrenheit thermometer uses a glass mercury bulb as the sensor. Fahrenheit observed that the increase in temperature by one degree will increase the volume of mercury by a known value. This is how the Fahrenheit scale came to be, with 32 degrees as the water melting point and 212 degrees as its boiling point, with 180 steps between the melting and the boiling points. This was the first standard scale used to measure temperature. The most common temperature scale today are Celsius and Kelvin. The industry still uses mercury thermometers in some cases, but there are two big limitations. First, they're usually made from glass that is really fragile and sensors break quite easily. Second, it cannot be used in a lot of industrial applications since mercury has a limit of 356 degrees Celsius. That is the boiling point of mercury. In the 19th century, with the first attempts of process automation, the bimetallic thermometer was introduced. In this case, the sensor is a metal strip made of two metals bonded together and coiled, like in the shell of a snail. The difference of expansion coefficients made this coil expand and contract with the change of temperature. These are really inexpensive sensors and are still used in various applications, but their accuracy is really low. And since they are made from moving components, they have to be changed regularly. And here it comes the era of thermometers based on electrical principles. 